So this is a 2017 Mercedes E-Class. This, uh, in their lineup, this is my. I kind of prefer the front view of this car to that of the uh, 2015 14 uh, S-Class, but uh, not better than. But it's definitely not better than that of the 20. 2019 S-Class, the facelift S-Class. So let's go, let's walk around it. Okay, that looks like this. I just know it's okay. It has, every car has this now. Has a um, parking centers around it. See, one there. Then uh, this one has a. Okay, there's, there's actually meant to be a camera here. It's actually meant to be a camera here, but this one does not have the camera. And as it doesn't have the camera, I'm um, pretty sure it doesn't have the, uh, what they call that, uh, radar detector. So it's very likely this one does not have the self-driving abilities. And, uh, okay, these are LEDs. What's written there? LED high performance. Okay, there are also lights that are LED, LED intelligent lights. But this one is LED high performance. So looking at the door of this car, Typical Mercedes door. This is wood. And this particular sound system is optional. It's uh, I can't remember how many thousands of dollars or thousand dollar plus it costs to get this sound system. Then uh, this is a uh, it's controlled from seats. It has a uh, three memories for the seat. It has a uh, ventilated seat and. Uh, the adjustments for the seats, front, back, you know. So then, apart from the fact that this car is an E-Class, it's it's really it's really it's, it feels expensive. Everything about this car feels expensive, even from the switches that are aluminium, and the, this everything here is leather. Everything here is leather, wood, aluminium. Everything here is leather, leather. Better wood aluminium. So let me go in and see what's up in here. So now this is the interior. Okay, um uh, okay, as you can see here is a LED screen and here analog analog LED in the middle. There are options. There are some of these vehicles that come with full LED all the way, all the way full LED. But this one just has a uh, here and here, which is also really nice. And uh, the steering is wow. This is a trackpad. Is it? Okay. Oh, look at trackpad there. Oh, wow. That's cool. Wow. And spice on the back, and uh, so as all Mercedes cars or most Mercedes cars, this is where the uh, gear lever is, and uh, the analog clock thing that is everywhere these days. Everybody has this putting on this analog clock. It used to be an old school thing, but now not anymore. Then uh, navigation, radio, and. Uh, Coming here to the center console, it's uh, you use this to control it. Like you twist this knob, and you move assistant, uh, light setting. So uh, let me give you some numbers on this car. You know, this. Uh, 2017 E300. It um, it has a 2.0 liter engine and it has 241 horsepower. It's uh, it's not that much, but um, this is the E300. You get 241 horsepower. If you want more horsepower, you go for the uh, 63 or the 63 S or 45. I think yeah, I think this is a 45. I E45. Yeah, but I don't know if this one sell in America. So vehicles that don't sell in America are. Uh, Difficult to find to, to find in Nigeria because you know our most of our second-hand vehicles here in Nigeria come from the US. So, 
So, uh, and uh, this car goes from 0 to 60 in 6.2 seconds, which is not so fast, so, well, you know. So, uh, that's all for the uh, numbers of this car. Let me show you more of the interior. So, the AC vents of, the AC vents of this car, this um, circular AC vents are... Uh, to me, uh, this this ship is really really good, and I don't really I, I think Mercedes Benz are trying to ditch this thing because in the new in the new uh, GLE and uh, GLE Coupe, they are no longer using this um, circular AC vents, and it's no, I don't I don't get it. This is the uh, passenger door. It also has ventilated seats. Uh, in a while, I'll go to the back seat and we'll see what it's like to be on the back seat. Then uh, glove compartment is big or rather pigeon hole. So yeah, let's let me look at the sun visor. I wonder what this things are. I don't know if they are speakers or rather mics for noise cancelling. Bad. So we have the lights, as well for the pocket here. Just okay. I like it when the bag goes to this thing. When you close it, when you open it. It opens gracefully. So this one has a has a, a wireless charging in here for your phone. Those are your phones are capable of the little wireless charging thing. So now let me get into the back seat of the car. Mm. Does it have the soft close thing? So, as I say, this is where the guy who paid for the car. But no, this is an E class. You don't really. This is not a car you want to be driven around in. It's a car you want to drive yourself. But nonetheless, here it's actually very, very comfortable. It's very, very comfortable and very, very spacious. This event on, off, on, off, on, off. This event. So, this is, I want to talk about my experience, uh, okay, the cars I'm actually looking at today, I'm not driving them or anything, so um, um, I can't, I can't really see what the driving experience is like, you know, so, but from my experience here, like inside the vehicle, you know, see, it has panoramic roof, from my experience here inside this vehicle, for the price that this car goes for, I I can say it's worth it. Yeah, I can say it's worth it because um, so Mercedes-Benz did a very nice job here, and uh, maybe sometime this week or next week, I'm not I'm not sure yet. I'm posting. I I want to get my hands on the S65. I know someone that has that vehicle, so I would uh, see what I can do my hands on that vehicle I would like to you know take a look at the car the car is it's, it's amazing yeah so let me show you guys the rear view of the car E 300 
So that's it for this vlog today. Or rather for the E300 vlog. Um, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. So if you wanna, if you wanna um, take, a, if you wanna contact those in this vlog, I will leave a, a link or a number below this video where you can, where you can, you know, get in contact with them. This is Chexmeet. This is a Chexmeet at the Agungi. Those that know Lagos will know where exactly this is at Agungi. So I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna contact anyone on this lot. Can contact the owners of this lot to get a vehicle or something.